either Desmond, you either you're really good or you're a hacker, but I believe you're really good. You're really good or you're a hacker. What's going on guys and welcome to Advanced Warfare. It's been about a month or so since I did my throwback COD series where we go back, we play a different Call of Duty. Time to go back to Advanced Warfare. So this is a game that I really didn't play that much. So back when I was streaming Infinite Warfare, I actually had an account made for me that just had all of the variants because I literally was like level one when I tried to play this game. Around this time is when I kind of stopped playing Call of Duty for a few years. It was from Black Ops 2 to Advanced Warfare with the three years i really didn't touch call of duty that much so playing games like this is pretty new to me we're gonna hop into tdm we're gonna see if we can find a lobby hopefully oh no games found okay that's unfortunate yeah advanced warfare this is a game oh my god my settings are so off hold on okay that should be better but this is a game that not a lot of people actually like and a lot of that was due to the fact that sledgehammer came and put in skill-based matchmaking and that's something that people still talk about today if, like skill-based matchmaking is in call of duty and there we go this game uh was a uh, the first advanced movement call of duty that we have ever gotten i remember watching the trailer for this and i was actually really excited really hyped for advanced warfare and then when i first got the game my internet actually was so bad back when i lived back home with my parents that i couldn't even get on the game literally the servers did not allow me to connect to the game and so this entire year i basically bought the entire call of duty i got to play it for like a week before my internet stopped working and from there i just didn't touch this game at all you know that this game was plagued with the uh, skill-based matchmaking that so many people try to prove that it was in the game so many people try to prove that it wasn't in the game it's 110 percent in the game like without a doubt it's in this game now is it in games like black ops 4 and other call of duties i have no idea i think there is i feel like there's some sort of skill-based matchmaking in black ops 4 I just really haven't taken the time to actually check to see if there actually is anything or really even care to see if there's any because I just play the game if I get a nuke I get a nuke but this game just feels so weird the movement feels so like like I can't like it doesn't feel fluid it doesn't feel like I can do whatever I want or move how I want it feels like it's just in straight pass which is very very odd come on there we go nice little double kill guy spawning back here he's down below take him out Woo! we are shredding right now Ooh, yeah we got that little like wall hack thing going take him out where are you at where are you at you're in here yep you're literally lane prone and i got him yo hold up hold up we about to get a uh, freaking dna bomb first game on let's go where's this guy at right here jump up jump up jump up Whoop! there's a 15 but one thing i do like about this game and something that i give credit to this game for the customization that this game actually had was pretty good Okay, where is this? What is this thing that just keeps shooting? Get off me, dude. If you would have freaking punched me, I would have lost it. But yeah, the customization that was in this game was so cool. But at the same time, that customization led to literally filler items in the supply drops. And this is the first game that had, like, supply drops. This is the game that started everything with the whole supply drop fiasco that we have now in Call of Duty. Pay-to-win variants that made this game amazing. I know that people wanted the Obsidian Steed. People wanted the Speakeasy, which is the gun that I have right now. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What's up, dude? And I suck. He's above me. Get bean, buddy. Do know that this game, there is one good thing that this game actually did, which I'm kind of shocked that other Call of Duties haven't done this. So when you were to hit Master Prestige in this game, I don't know what the exact variants were, but I do know that if you got to, I think it's like 15th Prestige, they literally give you a variant. They give you like, I believe it was the Obsidian Steed was one of them. I'm not sure if the speakeasy was another one, but I do know that literally for hitting Prestige Master, Grand Master, whatever it's called, you actually got free variants. Free! And they weren't just like some bogus random variant that nobody wanted. It was a variant that people actually wanted in the game. You know, variants that were took forever. The only issue with this, I'd say, is the fact that, you know, oh my gosh, he almost he almost got me. It would suck to, you know, pull it through a supply drop and then literally get get it. Like, and I literally just died on a brutal. I literally just died on a brutal. I'm such a dude. I can't escape it. Even on uh, other Call of Duties, even on Advanced Warfare, I can't escape me choking left and right. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I put that heavy shield on. You're gone. So are you. Come on. Let me keep it going. Come on, peek it. And you. Let's go. Yo, I'm shredding. Oh, free kill. He's standing still. Please don't spawn behind me. That's all I'm asking. Oh, they're spawning behind me. Woo! Get out of my face. Spawn over here. I'll take him out. 
I, I need no 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 I'm running I'm running I'm running I'm running don't touch me don't touch me oh no they they're guys over here this guy's over here oh my god my shot spawn behind is he back there got him holy shit I'm shredded oh I'm having so much fun on this UAV up okay I kind of want to push but at the same time I don't because I'm kind of scared the ADS in this game is super slow like compared to other CODs it's like when I ADS I am super slow okay we're going this way I'm done I ain't playing no games. There's one kill. Boom. Oh. Fizzy pop. Pretty sure this is the map that a lot of people were saying in World War II. I believe it was called Valkyrie. That they literally just copy and pasted Valkyrie into this map. Which I can see it. Valkyrie was a little bit bigger. But let's go over here. Let's go right there. This is like literally my favorite weapon in the game. Was the MP11. If you guys played Advanced Warfare. If you guys played it a lot. Let me know what was your guys' favorite weapon in the game. When I did play it, I do remember using literally this weapon right here. The MP11. And I remember the Goliath variant was like one of the best variants for this gun. Let's go over here. Alright, there's a guy right there. Got mid-map. Can't get him. Where's this guy at? Take you out. Slide. Hello. Got a supply drop. What you know? What you know about that, bro? I kind of wish that Black Ops 4 would kind of do that. I wish we would play random games and we could get them at random, or like we could get supply drops at random times during the game. I think that would be really cool and just another easy way for us to get some drops. You're dead. Walk around. Hello? And you? And you? Hit the reload. Come on, they're spawning. Yep. Why are you camping, bro? There's a guy right there. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, let me run. Get off me. He has a sniper. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Woo! Even though a lot of these weapons were like OP and it was pay to win because of the supply drops, Infinite Warfare, or Advanced Warfare, I keep saying Infinite Warfare, um, Advanced Warfare had so many cool weapons out of this game. You know, they had the blunderbuss which was really cool and then they brought that back into world war ii and then they had also just you know, the lever action which once again was brought back let's face it a lot of weapons in world war ii or just a lot of weapons in call of duty in general get recycled which kind of sucks because i wish they would just come out with some new weapons some new creative weapons that we haven't seen but when call of duty has been done so many times as it has been it's a little bit difficult for that okay where is this guy right up here what are you doing there's the uav that's going to come in clutch and hopefully we can drop something here yeah right here yeah, get off me, dude. Woo, you're deleted. Hit the reload. Oh, behind me. Don't snipe me. Woo! This game does just feel fast, too. Like, even though, the, in my opinion, the movement's a bit clunkier compared to other, like, jetpacking and boots and that. What are, what are these guys doing? What are you doing, bros? Like, seriously, then we got two over here. What are you guys doing? Why are we camping? But the movement does feel a little bit clunkier. I definitely, I think Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare has way more like smooth movements. And I'd much rather play those games over this jetpacking COD. Just because, oh my God, please don't die. Just because the fact that the movement just feels just linear. It feels like you can't really move as well as you would like to. There we go. If you get turned on, bro. Wow, he actually, he didn't get turned on, but that was a close one. Got some people coming over here. Push it. Woo! Peek it. Okay, no, I'm not going to peek that. He literally has the moors. He will probably hit the snipe and end up killing me. All right, guy in the corner. You're dead. Push it. And you. Oh, we're shredding. Come on. Okay, he's just back here. Move, move, teammate. Move, move, move. My kill. Yeah, you were literally trying to jack that. What is that man doing? He's just jumping. Oh, my gosh. Got him. And him. There's the brutal. UAV up. Okay, he's literally in here. Woo! Come on. Pick up his gun. Oh, no, I can't pick it up. I need a reload. System hack. Move over. Come on. Oh, my God. They're on the other side of the map already. No. I wanted to get this DNA. I'm going to hit the snipe for it. We're going to hit a snipe for the DNA bomb. You ready for this? Okay, that was it. Woo! There we go. DNA bomb. Let's get it.
I'm not gonna lie, I think the DNA bomb was really cool. I, I kind of like when when Sledgehammer comes out with game, uh, nukes and stuff, they always look really cool. Like the DNA bomb turns the whole map green, switches it up. I really like that. I think that's like super cool. And I wish more nukes like changed like the appearance of everything. Like I wish every game had like a nuke. Oh my God. He's literally gonna try to sight me. Yep, he did. Guess what? Peek it. Nope. You know, the chem strike would make the map a little foggy looking. The V2 rocket didn't really change the map at all. And then also, oh my gosh. And then also, oh my god, there's more. And the, what was it? Obviously, the DNA switches it up a bit. And, wow. I've only seen two of those ever since I started playing. Either Desmond, you, either you're really good or you're a hacker, but I believe you're really good. You're really good or you're a hacker.